Just arrived in the post this morning is a set of Jewelit elements for a two slice toaster. And that's gonna contain the middle element and the two end elements. And the point of this video is just quickly to show you how to change them, but also to point out the pitfalls of buying cheap elements, because I have actually just changed the elements in this toaster. And whilst they work, they don't work very well. The middle bit toasts the toast very well, but the two end bits is not toasting it properly. So you get uneven toasting and you have to keep turning the bread around. So basically, although they're brand new, I'm gonna ditch those and I'm gonna go with the original Jewelit ones and see if that makes a difference. Um, the first thing to do if you're having problems with your toaster is to take the elements out and test them. And in order to do that, you just set your voltmeter to the resistance here basically touch these two wires here and if that moves like that it means that the element is not blown one of the elements on this um jewelet was actually blown which we've thrown away but these two are fine but they don't work very well so we're going to whip the back off and change these elements before you start it's a good idea just to take out the crumb tray and empty it and um, because you the first thing you're going to do is turn the toaster on its back to reveal these six screws here. There's four in the feet and there's two at the end here. Once you've taken those six screws out, this back plate will just come right off. Now the only thing holding the elements in is this little side plate here that's just held on by two small nuts. So we're just gonna whiz those nuts off. That plate will come out. is quite good for keeping all the nuts once you've got the two nuts off the easiest way to get this out is just up and under through the wire like that now you can either take all the elements out at the same time or you can take them out one by one um, depends whether you're just changing one element or all of them we're going to undo these two wires here and also this wire here when you come to take these nuts off, just remember there's always a nut and a washer and just remember which side the screw goes on and which side the nut goes on. Another thing worth noting is that these nuts are thicker than the nuts that hold on the cover plate. Once again, don't lose the washer on the other side of the screw. Once again, it's worth noticing that the nuts that come off these two end screws are thinner than the nuts that come off all the other elements. The wire here is behind this copper bar here. So to get that wire out, you're just going to have to bend them back slightly and then take the wire off like so. Once you've undone those two wires, and that wire there, these should, in theory, just slide straight out like so. I'm just going to do that off camera so I don't damage any of the elements. There's a very small point to mention, but one of the differences between the Duralit and the non Duralit um, elements is these are covered in a plastic sheen. And the advantage of that is you can slide these in and out relatively easily without them catching on these sharp bits here and damaging the elements. I'm not sure that's worth the extra cost of buying an original Jewelit, but it is worth mentioning nonetheless. Okay, we've put the whole thing back together, plug the toaster back in, got a freshly baked loaf of sourdough. We're gonna cut two nice slices and we're gonna put this to the test. Okay, the moment of truth. Two pieces of bread in there, drop it down, turn it up to three and let's see if they toast evenly. And the one thing I noticed immediately is the center element is not glowing cherry red like the other one was, which implies that there's less power going through it and implies that the center thing is not going to toast as quickly as the other one, which is what we want. We want them all to toast evenly. Let's just do one more test and put this video to bed. Truth. Wow, okay, we finally fixed this Duolit toaster and the secret is not to buy cheap elements, but actually spend the money and buy original Jewelit elements and you'll get evenly toasted bread.